Hi everyone, I'm Yannick Stenger and it's a pleasure to demonstrate again the last main features of the new release of Cyclone Swedear. We are going to cover the main new features of the 2022.1 version and you're going to see why they will offer you more time saving, more efficiency and more flexibility in your daily jobs. Let's jump into the product and let's see the demonstrations on the agenda today. The new digital reality experience. There is a series of new features that will make you enjoy creating, visualizing and sharing your textured mesh models in Cyclone Swedear. And the new great features for the AC application. Beam progress monitoring, a very nice tool that will help you to deliver progress monitoring reports very quickly for your construction sites and export DTM to IFC, a great step into the AC industry to share your mesh model within the BIM ecosystem. Let's have a look at this very cool new release. Let's start with scan to mesh a new feature part of the standard edition. You will see how easy it is to, to create a mesh in a couple of clicks and how you can benefit from very nice tips in this new command. So you can notice that uh, scan to mesh uh, can work with any kind of point clouds in Cyclone 3 r Even for big data set uh, like this uh, heritage sample uh, scanned with plk 2 go And running scan to mesh you can see that there are three predefined uh, level of details uh, for this uh, easy meshing tool. So let's pick uh, the uh, medium level of detail. Very convenient uh, for blk 2 go scan. And evaluation mode is also a very nice uh, tool to visualize in a small area uh, the quality of the texture mesh, but also to extract uh, the estimation of the time of computation. And after running preview uh, automatically, uh, you are extracting a very nice uh, texture mesh uh, from the scan to mesh feature and with uh, an optimized uh, number of triangles. And now visualize uh, this uh, very nice uh, heritage site that was meshed uh, with a scan to mesh and this is a very amazing new feature for Cyclone 3 Also, uh, what is really important and what is nice with this new feature is the capacity to uh, mesh directly uh, a jet stream point cloud like an LGS. And uh, you just have to, to create a, a limit box and um, without any conversion step in Cyclone 3 this LGS point cloud can be meshed uh, and textured uh, thanks to uh, scan to mesh. And uh, finally, you can uh, finish your workflow uh, exporting uh, the new uh, textured mesh model uh, to any kind of uh, standard format. And FBX now uh, is, is now supported in Cyclone 3 and you can, uh, for example, import in a third party product like uh, 3ds Max. Also, I'm taking the opportunity to remind you that uh, we export uh, in GLB format uh, directly to Sketchfab, which is really nice to, to share your datasets. Let's move forward in the digital reality experience of the new release of Cyclone 3 r with the command Smart Texture. You're going to see in my demonstration that Smart Texture can help you provide very nice textured mesh model from the product. Let's start the demonstration from a mesh that was created with a scan to mesh from the new BLK360 scanner. And first I'm going to apply the texture from Point Cloud Colors feature and you can see that immediately you get a very nice results directly from the Point Cloud Colors. As a second step, I would like to, to show you uh, the existing feature, uh, standard uh, texture. And here I'm going to apply the uh, textures from the spherical images of the setup positions. And you can see that um, the, the texture on this mesh is not perfect. And uh, the, it was, uh, I mean, uh, something that we, we had in mind in the existing feature. And for example, the, the black holes, uh, meaning from uh, for the uh, uh, setup uh, fit uh, are inconvenient 
and let's have a look at an image preview. And now we have this capacity to apply a filter and to remove uh, the uh, black part of the images. And you're going to, to visualize uh, the very nice uh, texture uh, from the new smart texture tool. And also this uh, new algorithm provides lots of intelligence and delivers a very beautiful um, textured model at the end. To conclude the digital reality experience within the new Cyclone 3DR product, I would like to introduce you three features. The Dollhouse representation mode that will help you visualize realistic mesh model in Cyclone 3DR. You will benefit also from a major improvement for transparent mesh model. And finally, Capture View, a basic command but that will really help you create high resolution images I'm starting with the new Dolos representation mode that is really perfect to visualize a mesh for an indoor application. And this feature is really easy to use with a one-click command in the view menu or with a shortcut. And you don't have to use a clipping object to visualize inside the mesh model. Now let's see the new transparency management of models in Cyclone 3 dr so you can see uh, the current release version and the new uh, release 2022.1 that provides a very nice experience to uh, visualize uh, your models within the product. And finally, uh, I would like to introduce a capture view. Uh, this is a very uh, simple feature just to create high resolution images with uh, the background of your choice. And for example, you can use uh, this image to uh, to leverage your report with a very nice picture or just to, to share uh, this uh, output uh, to uh, another stakeholder. I would like now to demonstrate Brim Progress Monitoring, a new AAC feature dedicated to the construction market. And um, I'm going to demonstrate to you uh, how easy and how smooth it is to create uh, a Beam Progress Monitoring report at the end of this wizard workflow in multiple formats like PDF, CSV, or BCF. As usual, to start a beam analysis in Cyclone 3DR, the first step is to import the beam model in the software product. And uh, this is just a reminder for you that you have the capacity to adjust uh, the contents of the beam model in Cyclone 3DR and to focus on uh, an area of interest. So let's select uh, the both of the uh, objects, uh, the beam model and uh, the cloud, and uh, in the first step of the workflow, analyze. You can adjust uh, the uh, percentage of coverage that uh, will help you to distinguish uh, different beam components uh, according to their status, installed, uh, incomplete, or not installed. And in the second step of the workflow, uh, you have this capacity to, to check uh, manually uh, the results from this uh, progress monitoring analysis. And we provide a series of shortcuts, uh, for example, to hide or display the uh, objects, but also to, to change uh, with the space bar uh, the status of the component. And uh, with uh, the, the split screen, you have this capacity to to visualize also the reality and to understand uh, the results uh, properly. And in the final step of the workflow, um, you can directly create uh, one BCF ticket to export a summary, but also you have this capacity to export multiple uh, BCF uh, tickets uh, for each object. And you have also the possibility to go to the report editor and to create a PDF report that include a screenshot, but also a, a summary uh, in a short table. Uh, but also it is possible to create a detailed table with all the GUID information, the progress monitoring status, and to export this to a CSV. And this CSV file can be consumed in a BIM software product. Let's tackle now the final demonstration export DTN to IFC. This new feature is offering you nice opportunities in the beam construction industry thanks to core features of Cyclone 3 dr like DTM or 3D meshing.
So let's start from this classified point cloud. Uh, very useful to create a mesh from the ground points. And first I would like to highlight uh, how important it is to make sure that uh, the beam model is aligned uh, with the, the point cloud uh, before exporting your mesh or your DTM uh, to uh, IFC uh, format. So I'm just selecting the appropriate UCS to export uh, my uh, DTM to uh, IFC and please note that uh, IFC site uh, is a family uh, where uh, the mesh is uh, structured in the IFC file format. And only you can see that I can link this IFC file in Revit and visualize in a real context, in a real environment, this nice uh, beam building. Also, in addition to Revit, uh, this uh, new feature uh, can work with any kind of uh, BIM product. And for example, in BIM Vision, uh, I am also capable of visualizing uh, the DTM that I created uh, with the Cyclone Studio. Thank you for having watched this video. I hope you've discovered great new tips to test when you work or play with Cyclone Studio. I'm just reminding the new cool things that are part of the 2022.1 release and that will help you make the difference in the markets you are addressing. The new digital reality experience with scan to mesh, export to FBX or smart texture. New AC powerful features like progress monitoring or export DTM to AFC. And new rendering and interface capacities that leverage your experience within Cyclone Studio. And obviously a bunch of many improvements that are part of the new release. Stay tuned on the social medias to remain updated on the next releases of Leica Geosystem products. Take care everyone and see you very soon.